What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one of our videos. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. And also hit that post notification button. Also hit that like button because this video is going to be lit. So today we are trying, can you guys guess, the Starbucks spa drinks. And this time we got the snacks, yo. Because your boy's hungry. And we're also going to be talking about how we first met. <laughs> oh yeah, so it's juicy. A little. It's juicy. It's juicy. So you guys better stick along. So the first drink we are trying is a ice salted caramel mocha. Don't make a face, okay? Just be natural. <laughs> we're not natural, but just don't make a face. So I don't know if you like it or not. To mix it. Well, I don't think this one's even mixed. No, it looks like it's from the bottom. Okay. 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 I don't think this is like the fog drinks, is it? What do you mean? It just tastes like a regular mocha. It's a salted caramel. Man. What do you rate it? It's alright, it just tastes too chocolatey. Yeah, I don't vibe with that. I just think it tastes like one of their normal drinks, like nothing special. So the next drink is a iced pumpkin latte. This one should be more. I don't know why, like I like I hate when people mix their drinks. I don't know. But that's, you have to. That's or else my. You're gonna drink that's like a pet peeve of mine, especially when she's mixing her drinks. I'm like. Well, if know. you get an iced caramel macchiato, you know you have to mix it, or else. I feel like you didn't like it. Why? Because you were like... Okay. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Ew. Okay. First of all, I don't even like pumpkin, guys. I'm just doing this for you guys. It's honestly not bad. So she likes it. What do you rate it? Wait, did we rate the first one? No, we know. didn't rate the first what one. Do you rate the first one was just too normal of a drink. I didn't think any special of it. I'd probably give it like a five. Yeah, me too. But I'll give it a five, and then the pumpkin latte, I'll give it a eight. Eight on that? Yeah, it's. I give that even lower. I didn't like the taste of it. I give it like a like a three. I wouldn't. I would not get it. I would actually get this again. Look, fun. guys, we like the turtles, but they gave us those frap tops and not like the drinkable ones from this one is this one is a top pumpkin frap but. you like I don't know. well those two are the same it's just this one is a frap the other one's ice but I actually like this one a lot better than I did the other one. They taste the same after I mix it. This is how it tastes. Let me see. Let me see the Watch. other one. It's because once the cream kind of melts, I feel like it tastes better. Oh, no. No? No. So you would... No! What do you rate this one then? I rate that one an 8. Even though it's the exact same thing, just a frap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's because the ice waters it down a lot. Because that one you can really like taste it strong. And this one's like more like smooth you know I'll I like that one a lot better too. yeah I like that one so this one we're kind of going through these pretty fast that's why I told you to start off the story all right I'm gonna give you guys the tea now what's that one though let them know this one is a toss salted mocha frap so I guess that it's like a fraps and then like just regular like coffee drinks I'm assuming but let me tell you guys some of the tea here sip some You said not to make a face when I drink them. They taste the same. Even though it tastes the same, it doesn't. I don't know why frap versus maybe I just like fraps or something. But I like the fraps better than I like the drinks itself or the coffees itself. They're not bad, but it's just too chocolatey. Like the, it but doesn't really taste like coffee. That's the frap. Yeah, I'll drink this one. So, oh, what do you rate the? Honestly, I rate them a five. They're just too chocolatey. Yeah, I rate. I rate. Me. I would rate the other one a five as well. Okay, zoom I'm in. gonna drink the ice pumpkin latte. And I got the. Uh, the same thing, but a fan. <laughs> well, guys, we're gonna tell you guys how we met now after we tasted those drinks. Hopefully, you guys get to know us a little better and 
you know, whatever else. So it all started off in high school when I like had first seen her. It was just like, hold up, I'm just obviously gonna get red. So when I first seen her, I was like, damn, who's this? And I had left high school for reasons. So <laughs> I was going to another school but I was on Instagram and I remember going like, you know how it gives you the friend suggestions? She came out as one of them and I was just like, she looks familiar. And then obviously I followed her and then I waited a little, I waited a little and then she followed me back and I had posted a picture strategically and then she liked it. So I was like, it's go mode, it's go mode. So then that's when I sent her a DM and we started talking. There's one, I still, it's still cringy to me when we're talking. I, <laughs> she likes to laugh about it, but it makes me feel so awkward. So there's a point when, when we were talking, it was probably like still the first day, right? That we were talking. Mm, yeah, because that day he messaged me, I was on my way to Vegas. I was gonna fuck shit up in Vegas. No, I'm just kidding. I was going. She's not kidding. I know, I was like, what, 17? It's not like I could go anywhere. It was like my uncle's birthday or something. So we were going to Vegas and. He, on the way over there, it was like late too. I think it was like 12 or one. And we were still talking and when I got over there, it was four and he was still awake. I was just like, why is he up so, you know? But then he met, what did you ask me? It wasn't that day then. It yeah, was the next was. day that you did it. You know, back then I wasn't as smooth as I am now, you know? So I didn't know how to talk to obviously girls at the time. <laughs> And especially not a baddie like her. So then, I don't know why, but I had just said like, oh, like, what's your, f I had nothing, <laughs> I had nothing like left to talk about. So I was like, oh, like, what's your favorite color? <laughs> and she leaves me on red. Oh, That was shit. funny. I was just like, my favorite color. Really? <laughs> I had nothing, guys. I had nothing. I felt the boys. But this is where consistency, you know me, what I, when I want something, when I want something, I'm gonna get it. So the next day I messaged, was it the next? It was the next day, It was right? like a little. No, it was the next. Oh, okay. I kept you, or it kept me on your mind. Oh, it makes no sense. All right, so then I messaged her the next day and then from there on, like we just actually kept on talking and we talked for like a couple of months and then the whole time, or tell them how you, what? about you waiting for me to ask you out. Well, it's just we were talking for a really long time and I didn't really know him as well because obviously we didn't go to the same school and I didn't know anyone that knew him. So it's not like I could ask people like about him and stuff. Yeah, I want to clarify though, I really didn't have like friends in high school. Like I would, like when I would go, I would just go to, to go to school and leave. Like I didn't stay after school, I didn't do no sports, that was just not my thing. Duh. I didn't like You anything. would go skate with all the skaters. Not all the time, I just skate with them whenever my one of my homies was there. But I wouldn't do it all the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I didn't really know him or like if he was serious or if he was talking to someone else. So I was dead serious. Yeah, but I didn't know that. I didn't know. Basically, I just didn't know him or like his how do you intentions. Say? Yeah, I guess so. From there we kept we kept talking and then it came around August where I was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna ask this girl out. But the whole time, like the reason I didn't ask her out earlier. Oh we did have one mutual friend. Fernando. Oh yeah. well yeah, but Well I mean he would tell me like stuff about you. I guess. So yeah, I guess so. I guess <laughs> Fernando, you're in the video now. But so then we kept we kept talking for like a long time came august and like the whole time like the reason i didn't ask her out too was just because i didn't know she was down you know i didn't know yeah. she, i didn't know she was down and i didn't like i didn't want to go ahead and ask her out and be like you want to be my girlfriend and her be like oh no or something and i just feel like embarrassed i had to grab my cajones you know what i mean jelly beans and ask her out but i made sure to take her to a restaurant before i asked her out we went up we went to TGIF. I think I had a game that day, no? Yeah. I was like, oh, in my uniform. <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked her out that day. And she said, yes, of course. Of course. That's it, huh? Yeah, that's basically how we met. And now four years, guys. On Instagram. Four years together. 
See what Instagram can do? Love. Oh, shit. We got two into the cheese now. So we also got the, what are they? That one is the pumpkin bread, and this one is the muffin, a oh, pumpkin muffin. Yeah, I Honestly, I already know I'm not gonna like that one because I don't like cheese. And that has cheese in the middle. All right, okay. I like cheese on burgers and stuff, but I don't like just, I think you have to get a whole bite. But if this is anything like banana bread, because it looks like it, then it should be good. And I will chomp on this stuff. Fuck it. Oh, this one's good though. I vibe with this one. Okay, let me try this. The cream cheese. I'm kind of scared. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about this one. Alright. Just try it. <laughs> I vibe with the bread, for the bread then. So you have to take a whole bite of everything. You didn't take, take a whole cream. bite of everything. Yes, I took a bite with the... Barely! You guys see her bites? <laughs> Look at you can't even see... Probably... The bread is good. But I don't know about the cream cheese. It's like a... Not oh, it has good, like, but... It has like a sour taste to it. Like bitter. Huh. Ugh. The bread is good though. Throws it out the window. My nail came off. The bread is good. I think it tastes just like that. Oh. I'm almost done with this bad boy. Oh yeah, this one's good. Mm -hmm. I vibe with that one. I'll get this one. Man. I don't know about that. No, like I'll get this one again. Oh, I was in a fighter for that, guys. We're going to end off the video now. I think we talk, talked long enough of how we met so we will catch you guys in another video hope you guys did enjoy don't forget to subscribe <laughs> i'm gonna have to go out there and fight these people don't forget to subscribe hit that post notification button also hit that like button while you're at it because uh we're gonna start going pretty soon you know the vibes i'm just saying what else we got anything to say mm, to them maybe you will do a giveaway <laughs> you guys could win a Reset off my sister. She's learning how to. Do <laughs> oh yeah, Monica. Oh, we should we should shout her out, huh? Tell my her. sister. She's learning how to do nails, and I'm her the only person that lets her do them. So, well, I mean, if I don't let her, how is she gonna let me? Look, so. we'll put her Instagram right here. Go ahead and slide in her DMs and let her know you want your nails done by her. Go show her some love as well. And uh, that's about it. We'll see you guys in another video. Love you guys.